Cashing in coupons in dealer finance and other F&I lies. Cashing in coupons. What a big joke that is. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, one of my favorite all-time lies or jokes is a finance officer claiming to a car buyer that they got them a lower interest rate by cashing in a coupon, and in <laughs> some cases, even two coupons. Oh, my God. As if interest rates are being held hostage by a coupon. <laughs> Well, it's quite simple for anyone to see how much BS that is. Just do a Google search that includes the words, do dealer lenders ever issue an interest rate reduction coupon for dealer finance to cash in? In your search, nothing about coupons will ever come up. Nothing. You can also take it a step further and ask your own bank or credit union if they work with a local dealer, because many of them do, and ask them about the coupon claim. They will wonder what the heck you're talking (laughs) about. But what you will find in the Google search response is evidence that any interest rate a dealer quotes to you is most definitely negotiable. Always negotiable. Yeah, take that advice. You should always negotiate any rate quotes they offer you. When you do, you're likely to hear the coupon lie from finance. It's such a ridiculous story. Yes, but that doesn't stop dealer finance from making this up over and over again. This, by the way, is a great example of how made-up stories become told industry-wide among car dealers, so much so that... Finance officers obediently recycle this fake story every time a car buyer pushes them to get a better rate. The finance officer will say something like, let me see what I can do. Uh. And then he or she discovers a coupon or some version of a coupon story comes out like this viewer reports. John Green writes, had a dealer tell me I could get a special rebate if I finance through them. Doing the math, the rebate versus interest rate worked to my advantage. Quite often, that's true, my friends. When I got to Mr. Finance office, that interest rate went up a lot from what they stated. He said he had to turn in two coupons to get that. I played dumb and signed the paperwork. Then when the payment book came, I sent in the full payment amount. Yeah. Now the dealer loses any interest he might have made on scalping me, and I kept the rebate. Kevin, great job. Well, <laughs> thanks to you, John. Awesome. Played dumb. That's a classic, John. The strategy used by John was presented on our recent show, Cash car buyers can outsmart dealers using their own business model, part one of two. There's also a follow-up show where we emphasize the importance of focusing on a 72-month loan, so legally there's no risk of prepayment penalties being involved. If you missed that follow-up show and want to see it, here it is. Cash car buyers can outsmart dealers, part two of two, added facts. If you've seen one, make sure you've seen them both. All right, so we've settled on the fact that finance interest rate reduction coupons are just another big fat lie. Let's hit on some other common finance office lies, especially one people must avoid if they're going to use our suggested strategy with going along with the dealer's push for their in-house financing. Go ahead, Liz. Okay. Another longtime favorite lie by dealer finance is that you have to buy a gap policy or a vehicle service contract or any other product to get financed. Total lie. This is so blatantly false and for a few reasons. First, no good bank wants the loan and subsequently their risk involved to be fatter than it already is. The entire reason a down payment is asked for on any kind of a loan is to reduce the risk to the banker. Right. Why then would the bank ever say, we'll do the loan as long as you buy extra products that add no book value whatsoever to your vehicle? That'll never happen. Plus, if you actually do need GAP, you can get it for a fraction of the dealer price at your local credit union or an outside insurance provider. Such a solid point, Liz. And by the way, for all of you out there, what we're sharing today is just a very partial list of dealer finance officer lies. We'd love to hear lies that finance officers told you in the comment section down below. Yep. And then uh, secondly, it is also 100% against the law for any retailer of any product to make the purchase of one product contingent on the purchase of another. Saying that you can't buy this unless you also buy this is completely illegal. This is the reason that when you go into a shoe store, they don't say, you can only buy these shoes at this price if you also get this five pack of socks we have here. Forced add-ons by the dealer are illegal and you definitely don't want them on your car deal because... If you do, as we've suggested, taking the dealer finance option and then just going home to pay it off or refinance with your own lender, well, then you have the problem of canceling products before you can do that. Sure. You definitely don't want that mess on your hands. Another very common big fat finance lie being told out there right now is that you have to use dealer financing to get the price you've negotiated. Definitely a big fat lie, but we are suggesting you just roll with it like we did in a recent show. So just remember to take the dealer financing for a 72-month term 
so you don't have any risk of prepayment penalties. And then you can just go home and either refinance it with your own lender or pay it off if you're a cash buyer. The 72-month loan is important because it's illegal to have a prepayment penalty on any loan over 61 months. Another big fat finance lie is that it doesn't matter what you put down for your income when you apply for a loan. Friends, don't ever let a dealer talk you into lying about your income and never allow the dealer finance officer to do it behind your back. Only a complete scumbag finance officer says this. It's fraud and you want nothing to do with that. So true. And finally, we will always advise you to carefully read every line of your contract and yes. make sure the finance officer hasn't pulled a fast one on you. Hiding products in there you didn't want or ask for. With that in mind, if the finance officer seems in a big hurry saying they want to save you the time and tries to rush you through the paperwork without giving you time to review each document in full, well, your fraud radar should be totally going off. Right. There are so many ways a dealer can commit fraud on a car contract. It's mind-blowing. At our viewer's request, and so you can be aware of common forms of fraud, we have posted a new free download, which is a list of our 13 ways dealers commit fraud on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, for your convenience. Download it, print it, take it with you, and review it at the dealership. It will remind you what to look for. By the way, for our newest viewers, you can also connect with us on Facebook. And if you want more in-depth information on any car buying subject, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of FAQs can be answered right on our website. When you get there, just scroll down the main page and you'll find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through that car buying process without getting ripped off. Thanks, everyone. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel and you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future shows, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.